mechanism of enzyme catalysis. Now, after understanding the nature of the enzymes and the characteristics features, now let us understand how they increase the rate of the react. What exactly is the mechanism of enzyme catalysis? See, enzyme catalysis is based on a very simple theory which is called lock and key theory. Now, these enzymes are having many active sites on their surfaces. These active sites are having uh, function groups like alcohol, thiols, aldehydes, other groups through which they easily bind the reactant molecules on their surfaces. Now, reactant molecules only are those reactant molecules which are having complementary shapes like this one. Let's take this as an enzyme we are having. This is its active side is and this is the substrate or the, uh, this is the enzyme we have E and this is the S substrate or the reactant which is to be absorbed here. Since its shape is complementary to the size of the cavity which is obtained or present here on the enzyme surface, what happens is the moment they come closer to each other, what happens is they both get this substrate gets absorbed on it, on the enzyme surface. Due to the presence of those active sites which are having certain function groups through which it binds the reactant molecules to this, uh, on its surface. Then we say this enzyme substrate complex is formed. Here this E and S are coming, enzyme and the substrate are coming closer to each other. Now their complex is formed, enzymatic activity takes place and what happens is what we find is then as the enzyme breaks down this substrate into its product, required product like this one, you can see now the substrate is being broken down into two pieces. Then what we get after this is that the enzyme, the substrate leaves the surface of the enzyme for further adsorption and this is how this surface, this sub sub substrate or the reactant gets broken down into two pieces. So this is what is the me basic mechanism of the enzyme catalysis is that the substrate enzyme complex is formed, then the substrate is actually changed into the product and then it comes out like this further exposing the enzymes active sites for further adsorption of the reactant molecules. So it's basically is very similar to lock and key theory because then the key uh, is, is only being used for the E has a specific shape which can only be used can be fit into those uh, uh, into their only their, their locks only. So that is why the reactant molecules which are having complementary shapes can fit into those active sites and this is how the catalysis is done.